Yo, what is up guys? Uh, it's another kind of mini day in the life, but this time uh, it is currently five o'clock in the morning and I am going to the gym. So I'm gonna turn this off so I don't blind myself, but yeah, it's an early gym day. I've never been to the gym this early. It's still dark outside. You can't see me. You're only hearing a voice. I'm stuck at a red light, but yeah, hopefully we can get a good pump in at 5 a.m. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. I'm just leaving the gym. Uh, you're actually, you know, up in my uh, phone mount because uh, I've never filmed a video like this, but I have a story to tell while I'm kind of car vlogging. I've, <laughs> I've only done moto vlogs. It's still dark out here. Currently, it's actually 627. I actually need to uh, unlock my watch. You can hear it because I was just in the hot tub and you got to put your watch in water mode. You know what I mean? I worked out for 57 minutes as I'm ending this. Uh, but funny story. Oh my god. I felt bad for this poor woman. She looked like a you know it, It's early in the morning everybody, you know, it's not thinking straight, you know And she was in the sauna for some reason uh, They only had one sauna going and uh, The steam room has been closed for a while This poor woman had her airpod pros in probably with noise canceling mode and um you know, there's this guy, he's doing some stretches, some like lunge kick stretches. I don't know how to explain them. I actually do uh, do them before I work out. Or no, but not before I work out, before I go skateboard. Um, and this poor lady walked right into the men's locker room. Right into the men's locker room. I felt so bad for her. She was like this cute little, you know, she was a bigger girl, but she was probably like five foot one, you know, maybe 270. So she was a little big girl. But I felt bad because this guy was like, hey, 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 that's the men's locker room. Like I do it all the, I, I, like I've gone into the, almost gone to the women's locker room before. Like, don't go in there. But she had headphones in so she didn't hear him. And she couldn't find her, uh, her like key code because you have to scan a barcode to get into the pool area. She couldn't find it. So she was like stuck knocking on the glass while this guy had his headphones in in the steam room. I ended up having to let this poor girl in. She looked mortified. I'm sure there was old men's in there. I'm sure there was old men in there with their peepees out. I felt so bad. She's like, oh my God, you know, she came out like, she came in super, super red. And I was like, it happens. Like, you know, it, it, I don't know. I've never done it, but it, it happens. But yeah, I just thought that was a funny story because I've never seen that happen. It's always been one of my biggest fears to walk into the wrong locker room. My brother actually talked about it the other day. He's like, I'm scared of walking into the wall wrong locker room one day but yeah i'm gonna focus on driving home and uh, continue this day in the life and see what we can get into and i forgot to mention uh i am running dangerously low on gas my gas light hasn't come on yet but i am running dangerously low and i forgot my wallet i forgot my wallet because going to the gym this early was kind of a whim it was just like oh i'm gonna go to the gym because actually when i used to have my planet fitness membership i would only go in the middle of the night and I know this is in the middle of the night, this is early morning. I think, what what's the t scientific term? I think 4 a.m. is where it turns from late night to early morning, I think. I think. I know you guys can't see it, but the sky is starting to get blue. Uh, I love mornings, even though I'm not a morning person. But yeah, I don't have my wallet, so if I run out of gas, that'll make this vlog more interesting. So I hope I don't. It's just a friendly reminder, if you go to the gym at four o'clock in the morning, don't forget your wallet, because yeah, I used to go to Planet Fitness, no joke, at like 2.30 in the morning. This guy, his lane ends right away, and yeah, uh, okay. <sighs> go ahead, motherfucker, go ahead. Go ahead, you fucking ass fuck. God dang it, these people, too early for this shit. But yeah, I used to get really, really good pumps at like 2.30 in the morning and leave at four o'clock, three o'clock. I do kind of miss 24 hour gym, but let me tell you, for the stuff I'm getting, uh, I'm getting, I'm paying the same price I was at Planet, and I have a bunch more shit. Oh, why are these lights on? What the fuck is this? It's not traffic. What is this? Well, I don't know if YouTube's gonna like this, but my nose won't stop bleeding. You see this? You see this? Look at this rag. Look, look at this. Look at this. Oh, here it comes again. It's been going on for like 15 minutes. I'm sick of this. 
Okay, so it's the middle of the day now. Um, went to the gas station, got a body armor, and I'm trying to fix my sunroof. As you can see, that part broke, so it kind of got clogged underneath, so the sunroof wouldn't open all the way. So I have it open, but now the screws in here, if you listen, see, they do that, and that means that there's a loose screw. I had to tighten it last time too, but I guess it got loose again last or, uh, this winter. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this screw if I can. So I went to go get gas. See, there's a the Cadillac Camaro. And I ran into them. So yeah, I don't know what else this you know day in the life is gonna do because literally day in the life is literally a day in my life of what I do. And I went to the gym today, slept, woke up, sliced my nose open, and now we're just sitting in a parking lot. Yay. Okay, uh, different filming location kinda. I'm in uh, my car. Um, I'm actually gonna go do another little hike. Um, I thought, you know, I, I kinda like the way that the other video came out and I kinda wanna stick to editing not people um, and try some more outdoorsy stuff since I have easy access to that. This trail I'm going to right now is really beautiful and it's only six minutes away. I'm gonna do a time lapse um, there. I've got a little, you can't really see, but I've got better better shoes on this time. I've got on my cowboy boots, so still not the best, um, but it's better than uh, Nike's. I got all my camera equipment in this backpack right here. I've got a water, um, and we are gonna head to this trail. Cue time lapse. Well, we just made it as you can see if you look out my window there's some really pretty views um and the hiking trail is in front of me over here there's a, oh where's my finger there i am it's over here somewhere so uh i'm gonna walk up it just a little bit get some really cool hopefully really cool shots there's not many people here there's only two other cars in the parking lot and there's one of them there's the other one so uh let's go see if i can get some cool shots We're on the trail. I need to remember to talk a little bit louder. I think this is the trail right here. If you can see it go down that way, that leads to the bottom lot. But I went to the top lot and up there, it's really high up there. You guys can't tell, but that's where you like rock climbing stuff. So last time I was here, I didn't make it far on this. Oh, I actually need to set my Apple watch. So I'm gonna do that real quick because I wanna see how far, um, you know, I've, uh, I've walked. Okay, so I just started my watch right there and the car is over there so haven't walked too far so it shouldn't be too far off there's the bottom parking lot um there is one car I don't think I've made it much further up this trail. I think about, this is about where I stopped 
last time I hiked, as you can hear, I'm out of breath and I've only gone 0.22 miles. 191 beats per minute. Yeah, I know that's bad. I know, I know. That's why I've stopped to catch my breath. I've got a bad heart, we know it, but I can't get over this view. I love this hike. That is a lot steeper than it looks on camera. And I have to go up that. That is really, really, really steep. So from here on out, I don't know where it goes, but I sure do want to find out. I don't know if I mentioned it, but on the way up here, the car is way over there. Um, it started raining and as you can see over there, it is gonna start to rain soon. I don't want to be caught in the rain. It's not as bad as snow, especially since I got my better shoes on, but uh, oh look, you can kind of see the rain start to start right here. So hopefully we can get some, maybe some cool rain shots. All right, I got my heart rate back under control and now it's time to tackle this. Oh, I just came off that trail and there's a fork in the road. It goes left or it goes right. Now usually I always follow right is always right, but I wanna get views of that as you can see right there, rain starting. So, you know, that's coming soon, but I'm gonna go up there because I want views of that way, you know? All right, I just had to stop and uh, take off my coat because I was dying. I just checked temperature, it's 47 degrees, um, but I'm, dying and I've got this big hill to go up so onward really cool tree oh this looks like it's going to suck but look at that that's beautiful look you can see Denver peeking out right there on the other side of that mountain that's so cool I went on another little pull off and I can say it's another rocky spot but this is the closest I've been to those and if you look right there it kind of looks like there's a cave but I'm almost there current check 158, 0 0.43 miles. And at the end of this, I think it shows elevation gain. So I'll let you know how much elevation I've climbed. But as you can see, you know, the parking lot's, you know, way down here. So definitely gain some elevation, but we can't quit now. Wow, I got a little easy section in the trail. What I'm gonna do right here, um, since I have a pull off, um, I'm gonna check the elevation and I'll tell you what we're at. I'll put the picture in after I check it so you can uh, see and I'll tell you what it normally sits at. So here's what I'm at. I'm at 6,130 feet, I think is what it said. And Golden sits at about 5,600, I think is what it said. So you'll see it, I'll put them on right here. But uh, yeah, I don't know how much more we got, but uh, we're gonna knock it out. So if you look right there, right, where's my finger, right there. I'll zoom in it and post whatever. And right there, those look like spots to hang climbing ties because, you know, this is a climbing area. So I think we are almost there. Remember kids, hydration is important. Oh, way up there, I see carabiners and there's posts right here. I think we're almost there, but in order to call it complete, I want to go touch those touch those rocks. Heart rate's at 186. Just climbed up this little hill behind me. Gonna let it cool down. And I'm gonna touch those rocks. It's just like life. If you want something, go get it. Don't half-ass it. If you want it, go get it. I climbed it. Rocks that you climb are right here. I did it. I've never done this hike and it was tough, but son of a bitch, I did it. I'm gonna sit up here for a while and catch my breath, but this is the views from the top. 
Well, not the top, because I ain't climbing that shit. I'm scared of heights, you kidding me? But on the way down, I'm gonna stap, strap my GoPro to my head. The, 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 video, or the mic quality is gonna be shitty, and I'm sorry, but you can see first person hiking on the way down, but look at that. Oh, man. All right, water break. All right, now you're on the top of my head. All right, down we go. Okay, didn't leave anything, here we go. Almost just rolled an ankle. I don't know how people do shit like that all the time. They are fucking crazy. God, we just got Chris Bryant. I had to take off this camera and I know the audio is going to be really bad, but I just checked my watch for an ESPN notification. I said it said breaking news and I was like maybe it's important. The Colorado Rockies just picked up Chris Bryant. Chris Bryant on my that's what my watch just told me just now. That what that I wow. I'm going to have to go to I've seen him I've seen Chris Bryant live a bunch of times. I've gone to a lot of Cubs games. I'm going to have to go to a Rockies game this year. Chris Bryant. Oh, my God. All right. Now back to your regularly scheduled descent. <sighs> Almost there, baby. Woo. You know, I think it's a skill to not to do this stuff in cowboy boots with heels and not twist your ankle. Oh, God, that fucking hurt. I think that takes some skill. Oh. This is pretty fucking steep. Just pace yourself, you know. We don't need to lose an ankle. I've skateboarded for 14 years of my life. I know what bad ankles are and I don't want them. Well, who am I kidding? I have bad ankles. What's our time looking at? 47 minutes. So, so far it's taken me seven. It took me 30 minutes to climb, but of course I was filming B-roll and stuff. It took me 30 minutes to climb and seven minutes to get down to the bottom. Oh. That was the closest call I've had. Oh, there was another one. Okay, so at the end of the trails where I have my almost breaking ankle moments. That makes fucking sense. That guy that just walked past me is probably going to do this hike for fun when it damn near killed me. Let's get in the car. All right. I just sat down in the car. Let's do a, you can see where I had the GoPro on my head. Um, yeah, I just took it off. Yeah, that guy's already, he's way up there. You can't even see him. He is fucking cooking. But uh, so in total, it took me 53 minutes. I have burned 191 calories. Current heart rate is 126. And it was 1.04 miles. So uh, that sucked. I'm going to sit here for a second collect myself um, and head back to the house. That dude is already halfway up the trail. That just puts into perspective how in bad shape and how, you know, in well shape these people are. But to my thing, you know, I was in cowboy boots. So 
let's start heading back to the house. All right, so I'm still sitting in the car. I actually need to turn off my GoPro. There we go. I'm sitting in my car still. Um, the the beginning of this uh, the beginning of this day in the life vlog was actually filmed a couple a couple days ago when I ran into Stone. That was about two days ago, um, and that was the same day as that lady at the gym when I was talking at like five o'clock in the morning when I was at the gym. So I think I've got enough content for this video. I hope I lived up to the expectations and made some B roll really cool. And uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna try hard to uh, make some good quality content. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. So if you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like. God, that GoPro you can see look. I have a really caveman forehead and it left its marks in it. I am sweating. It's 30 degrees outside. All right. I'm going to end this one here. So if you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, share with a friend. Let me know how I can improve or some hikes that you would like me to go on. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Later. Last bonus clip. Here's my stats. If you care. Uh, that was the, uh, the summary of the workout. Time to go home.